Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, it looks like two arch rivals in the cruise industry have now teamed up. And yeah, that's really rare. And let's see who they've got together on this team and what they're doing. Right now, Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines and Norwegian Cruise Lines have put together a team of experts to come up with, first of all, protocols for resuming sailing, what they're going to do and how to make things safer, that they're going to propose to the CDC and get clearance to start sailing again when they're allowed. And then the second part of that is to how they can keep things ongoing and also emergency plans, etc. We know now the EU has come out with their recommendations for the cruise lines and now Royal Caribbean and Norwegian are trying to get a jump start on the CDC and say here is all of our proposals and they're going in as two of the largest cruise lines out there. Now if they join teams with Carnival as well that would pretty much be two-thirds of all cruise ships in the world and pretty much the majority of all cruise ships in North America if you're counting those. <laughs> so they have they would have a huge huge voice and even as Norwegian and Royal Caribbean is concerned as far as presence in the United States is concerned, huge, huge presence. So what's this team getting together and who did they make it up? Well, I do like some of the appointees and I'll explain to you why. I gotta make sure I read the right names. The co-chairs are former Governor Utah Mike Levitt, or Levy. Um, he used to be the uh, work for the Environmental Protection Agency. He was Secretary of Health and Secretary of Health and Human Services. So a very good qualifications for this kind of panel. Also his co-chair Scott Go Golib. I'm sorry I'm, I'm mispronouncing your names. Um, he was a commissioner for the Food and Drug Administrator. So while these guys are not cruise experts, they are experts and coming up with cleaning solutions and environmental protection things and also brought on board, which I think is a fantastic move. They're bringing in Julie uh, Gerbing, who is the director of the CDC and Helen Gale, who also worked for 20 years with the CDC. So when you have people with that sort of background and that sort of history, both working for the Food and Drug Administration, Health Services, the CDC, one was the director of the CDC. So when you have that kind of input, it's going to be hard for the CDC to come back and argue with any of the protocols that this kind of team put together which was really good. That's not to mention all the other experts that are on the panel. They have epidermatologists, etc. They have all kinds of scientists and people who are experts in this field, experts who are experts in disease, experts in control. They have one person who's currently on the, is a CEO of one of the largest uh, drug companies in North America that is also one of the companies that is working on a cure for this. So they have a lot of great input in the people that they put on this panel. And they say they will be coming up with recommendations and one of the best things I heard, it's, it's rare enough that they're willing to work together and put this team together, both Royal Caribbean and Norwegian, the panel says they're going to be releasing all their findings and information to all the other cruise lines as well as the cruise industry as a whole. So they're not holding back. The, that was one of the agreements that these people said when they joined this panel is that they want to make sure that this goes out to everybody. They want their recommendations to make sure people are safe everywhere in the world and then everybody would have access to it. Whether you're a small cruise line in Norway or Asia or going down, you know, just local 
back and forth to the Bahamas. They wanted everyone to have access to all this information. And so the cruise lines, of course, agreed with that. They just want to get sailing again whenever they can. So there we go. We have a team and they have been working together. They've already met. They've had their conference calls. And I assume very, very shortly as that September 15th deadline starts rolling closer and closer, you're going to see some recommendations, solid in writing recommendations from this panel being submitted to the CDC. And then the CDC is going to have to say yes or no. And as of doing this video on Tuesday <laughs> in the second week of July, we still haven't heard if the CDC is going to extend that no sale order or not. Um, guessing man would put his odds at saying yes they are. I would probably throw everything I had on it. And, and knowing my gambling, they will probably not extend it and I would lose all my money. But <laughs> if you were a betting man and you were going with the odds, odds are yes, that no sale order will be extended even longer. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But in the meantime, let's keep an eye on this panel and see what recommendations they come out with and submit to the CDC and just see if they compare almost identical with what the European Union recommendations are. That would be very interesting if the two are kind of different from each other, which ones the majority of the cruise lines will go with or will they go with some in North America and some in Europe? Who knows? Let's see what happens, but at least something's happening somewhere. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Go see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation, wherever that may be.